able to uh, get their sharing link on uh, their website on uh, any web browser, uh, shall we say, on a tablet that they have access to on a mobile phone so they can share your affiliate link. They can get it out there on any websites that they have, uh, blogs, social media channels, so on and so forth. So I will take you through the advantage uh, of the affiliate program from your partner standpoint, and then we will put on our affiliate manager hats, take into one of my own uh, Lead Dino accounts, uh, demonstrate some of the settings, some of the best practices that we've found to work well uh, for affiliate marketing there. Finally, I'm happy to take your questions. I can take those throughout. I can take them afterwards. Go ahead and type in anything on your mind into that GoToWebinar uh, window there, and I can handle, uh, again, uh, your thoughts, requests, either on the fly or afterwards. With that, let us go ahead and get rolling, and I will flip over to the affiliate dashboard itself. So this is what your affiliates see after they join your affiliate program. Uh, really easy for them. That's one of the key advantages of Lead Dino is that we've got this uh, easy to use but powerful affiliate dashboard so that your influencer partners can share easily on social media. They can do some quick uh, sharing on social media and then get on uh, with their busy lives as well. So first and foremost, what we're giving them is not only an affiliate code, but also a unique referral link. Uh, a couple nice things about this referral link, it is a direct link pointing to your website. It does let us track who referred somebody, but we're not bouncing them around the internet. We're not redirecting anyone. We're not using uh, third-party cookies, which is now being frowned upon by Apple uh, and the other uh, overlords of the internet. So all best practices in terms of a direct link to your site, First party cookies with our uh, stamp of approval on it. So all good from that standpoint. The uh, nice thing, other nice thing about the direct links is that as affiliates are posting these for you, they do count as inbound links. So from an SEO standpoint, search engine optimization standpoint, that is also uh, a good thing for you. Uh, one of the other key advantages here is that we've got social media shortcuts, which make things really, really easy for affiliates. So again, as I mentioned, uh, tend to be busy people like you and I these days doing a million things at once. So the more that we can uh, streamline things, make it easier for them, the more likely they are uh, to share. So let me show you from their perspective. So as an affiliate here myself, all I got to do is hit the Facebook button. What this does, it logs me into Facebook. It tees up this nice looking post uh, with an additional click. I can post this to my Facebook feed. My friends and followers on Facebook will in turn see this post come through their Facebook feeds. And as these folks click through or tap through the post, uh, I get credit for uh, the share. Same idea on Twitter, so I can easily share on Twitter. All I do is I hit the tweet button here. It logs me into Twitter, uh, tees up this tweet. That's my affiliate link embedded in there. So on any of my Twitter followers who see this tweet, who click through or tap through it, uh, I get credit for those shares uh, as well. Also on the uh, dashboard, so LinkedIn as well, Instagram, very popular also. So this is where the mobile apps uh, come in handy and that your affiliates can download our affiliate dashboard app either for Android or for iPhone devices. All they do is they input their email address. We'll be able to match them up as a member of your affiliate program. And we uh, do give them credit then uh, for any uh, stuff that they share. And we've got that Instagram hookup uh, already in there, really easy to do from their phones as well. So they can put their affiliate link into their profile on Instagram or any swipe up uh, linking uh, type events there as well. All right, as they send folks your way, we update their progress, which is basically their sales funnel. So they can see the number of unique visitors, the number of signups, the number of purchases that they get credit for. Bottom row here, we're tracking their commissions and we're doing this for them in real time as well. So we calculate these based on the commission plan that you have set up within Lean Dino. If you need guidance in terms of setting up um, a uh, commission plan, whether you know what you want it to be or you need us to help um, guide you or show you what some of the top affiliate programs in your industry are offering, we can do either or or both. So let us know what you're thinking. Uh, we do set up uh, commission plans directly for folks in the system who would like help there. I also do have a breakdown of the top 10 affiliate programs in each industry. So I did this uh, roll up across the 21 product categories in our industry. This is a guest post that I did for uh, a Shopify blog and uh, did the breakdown here. So I'm happy to provide you with this info as well if you're setting up your commission plan uh, for the first time. All right, a couple more things on the dashboard here. We have a marketing material section where your uh, affiliates can get access to things such as banner ads, infographics. So these will uh, have not only the artwork installed, but they will also uh, get the link 
um, the affiliate link also embedded within here. So they'll get credit for anyone who clicks through these manners and go direct to your site. We got a couple of questions coming in, uh, link to that resource. Yeah, absolutely. Let me put this in the chat window for you, which I think will get you there. And if uh, you are not able to access, let me know, but let me put this link in here for you so that everyone has it. I will send this to everyone. It's in the chat window here too. All right, so hopefully you have that, but if you need it, um, doesn't come through for whatever reason, let me know, I can, I can send it to you offline as well. I'll tell you how to get a hold of me uh, as we, uh, uh, in about five minutes here, when we kind of wrap up the regular portion of things. Last thing I was gonna show you on the dashboard, our newsletters tab. Uh, this, is a, uh, this is the last newsletter I sent out. I've got another one that's gonna go out on Friday to our affiliates. Same type of flavor, letting them know that we've got affiliate payments going out the door. That's always a nice way, in my experience, to get everyone's attention. So you let them know that there's a, a money going out the door and that inspires them to come back to their affiliate dashboard, see if they are getting paid and if so, how much they're getting paid. And oh, by the way, on the dashboard, that's where we've got all the sharing shortcuts. So while they're there, hey, why not do a quick Facebook post? Why not send out a quick tweet? Why not uh, see if we can get that uh, Instagram link into our Instagram profile so we can earn commissions going forward here as well. All right, uh, let's get into uh, Lead Dino itself. Let me actually show you the newsletter. Uh, so these do go uh, to our affiliates into their email inboxes. So we have the ability to send out a newsletter from within Lead Dino. We're also doing uh, integrations. We're doing one with HubSpot that will let you send out an affiliate newsletter via HubSpot for uh, those HubSpot users. So if you're interested in that integration, let me know because we're doing that now. Um, so I can talk to you about that. Aweber coming up as well. So we'll have some uh, integrations with email marketing partners as well. So it lets you either, again, you can either send this out direct from uh, Lean Nano, or if you do use one of those other systems, you can uh, do that there. Set up. So let's talk about how we're um, getting that affiliate website set up, uh, ramped up, getting it branded. So the uh, content section is about halfway down. On the left-hand side, I'm now within Lead Nano itself. This is how you can customize the affiliate website that I just walked you through. It's basically all customizable, so you'll probably just stay and roll with our mobile-friendly version. You can select your color scheme, get your logo in there. So again, basically make it look like an extension of your own website. You can put it on your own domain if you would like. We do support custom domains uh, as well. Everything throughout the header, introduction, instructions, all customizable, so you can either retype the text that you see in here. You can insert images and links if you would like. You can actually get to the HTML uh, directly custom CSS even, we'll let you further style uh, that uh, to your heart's content. And then if you want your affiliates to opt into something such as a terms of service agreement, we got the ability for you to upload this here and then we'll make them check a box that they sign off on it before uh, they are granted access to your uh, terms of service. All right, looking through our toolbox, our tools section, this is our uh, where you will be able to send out the affiliate newsletter. Here's the one that I've got teed up for Friday of this week. So when I send it, I'll just hit the publish button, but I do have it written already. Show you what I'm doing here. So I'm just letting them know about the commission payments going out the door. Um, we've got, uh, we had a customer newsletter go out last week featuring eight new Lead Nino features, well received. So what I'm doing is I post it to our blog um, with a call to action there uh, at the end and let our affiliates give them a version of that link so that they can talk about that. Uh, that's a good thing to share because it's kind of a newsy item so that um, it's not purely promotion, informational. Uh, of course, our goal is to get new business from it, but um, plays well on social media because it does have that informational um, component to it as well. Uh, question, how often do I send these out to our affiliates? Um, perfect world, I think every month is a great um, frequency. Um, I did miss December, so uh, I'm going every other month. Uh, right now, though, I will shoot to uh, do one end of February and every month this year. But I think I think once a month is great. I do like getting our affiliates used to getting a monthly commission payment from us. I like to just kind of think of us as um, regular partners where we're getting regular payments, they're doing regular shares. So again, that's the goal. I don't think you have to do that. Obviously, you can do it every other month. You can do it quarterly. You can really do it as often as you'd like, but I, I think the more often the better in terms of being able to gauge your affiliates. Um, it doesn't take a ton of time to do it. I have templates I'm happy to share with you as well. We do have these being uploaded uh, within to the app. Uh, one of our developers is putting these in there. So they will be there soon. I don't think they've been uploaded yet. 
So if you would like a template in the meantime, you can use one that I've written, you can adapt it to yourself. And then again, um, I think if you just kind of tweak it on a monthly basis, um, update with any news that you have, um, that's a good way to do it. Um, the other thing that I do when I send out the affiliate newsletters, I update the content. Um, I forgot to show you this in the content section, but this is going to be under the Facebook post, the tweet. So I do take a minute to rewrite these so you can see that when we share the Facebook post, that is being pulled from the Facebook post in the content section. Again, just takes me a few minutes to do. We'll just take you a few minutes. Um, but Think about all the affiliates that you have sharing. And also uh, the kind of the barrier to posting, uh, you get them past any writer's block. I know it's just a Facebook post, but I found in my experience that most people do. Most of our affiliates just post what I write. And so I'm happy to do that. And if that's the difference between them sharing and not wanting to share, um, I'm all for it. So that's where we're writing uh, just a few of these posts for our affiliates. And again, you can kind of reuse them across the uh, social media platforms. So Twitter, Facebook, I've got the same theme going. LinkedIn, I got the exact same thing going. Um, so you just kind of write one of these, put it into each of the uh, social shares. And uh, I think you're going to find that your affiliates are much more likely to share with this stuff uh, preloaded, ready to go for them. On the automation side, we also have automated emails. These are especially near and dear to my heart because I set them up once and I don't have to do anything. So we've got, uh, for example, a, an affiliate sign-up email. This goes out to our folks as they uh, get uh, ramped up into our program. We give them their affiliate link. We also give them the link to their affiliate dashboard. So everything that, that they need to get up and running here. And then we can keep them posted on how they're doing. We can let them know the number of uh, visitors, uh, number of opt-ins, number of purchases that they got credit for sharing here. So nice ways to keep them engaged, nice ways to keep our affiliates motivated on an ongoing basis here. Uh, with that, let's get into affiliate recruitment. This will be our last topic, and then I can get into any more questions that um, you do have. So our last uh, big topic here, but probably our most popular one, affiliate recruitment. How do we get folks into our program? I think you probably know if you've done any affiliate marketing before, not only is it an 80-20 um, type of uh, effort, but usually 90-10, uh, where you might have 10% of your affiliates doing 90% of the sales. That said, you don't always know beforehand who your high impact affiliates will be. So while we try to gear our recruitment towards those high impact influencer types folks, um, the more the merrier, to be honest with you, in terms of affiliate marketing. So what we're doing, uh, a couple of different techniques here. We've got an affiliate invitation email, goes out to new customers as they're buying from you, invites them to join your affiliate program. It's an optional email. We're not doing this by default. So if you don't wanna uh, do it, you don't have to. But if you're interested, uh, I have found this to be a great way for us to grow our affiliate program organically as worked really well for many of our users as well. Um, so all you need to do is enable the email, make any edits, improvements to it that you would like, sign your name to it, be off and running. And again, um, pretty simple, but powerful. Somebody buys from you, they get an invite, reaching out to them, letting them know about your affiliate program, inviting them to join. So a nice way to get organic growth here. Uh, we also have an affiliate network and those have the 21 uh, product categories with affiliates and influencers interested um, in, in, in each one of those that I mentioned earlier to join the network, lower left, hit the network tab and that will redirect you over to ecommerceaffiliates.com. So this is ours and we give preferential uh, treatment to Lead Dino merchants. It's actually free uh, for Lead Dino merchants. And then what we do is we give you complimentary features as well. So what we're doing is we're bragging about your product and bragging about your affiliate program. This newsletter went out this morning to the uh, affiliates and influencers uh, interested in our general products category. You see we've got 390 um, affiliate programs in this category, but what we're doing here is we're uh, giving preferential treatment to these five and, and sending affiliates to join these programs right away. So we'd love to get you featured here. I can work with you on this. Uh, what we do is we basically get you, let me actually log in as an affiliate here. Um, you can actually reach out to affiliates as well here so you can invite them uh, directly. Let me uh, log in as an affiliate and show you what that looks like. So if I get logged in as an affiliate, we've got the product categories listing, listed. So if we're looking at our health category, for example, we talk about your product here. We talk about your uh, affiliate program over here on the right side of things. 
All right. And then uh, I think we're good on content that I had for you. So I can take any other questions that you have. Let me give you a couple more links for support. If you'd like to book a phone call, a one on one phone call, uh, we are happy to do that. I've got a couple of links to our uh, affiliate program setup expert, Adam and Lisa, our customer success manager. Her, uh, their direct calendars are here. So you can just hit the schedule and appointment button if you'd like to get, for example, on Adam's calendar. So it's pretty easy, you just book a time. You can see a lot of availability here. Our general contact info, phone, email, live chat, live chat. You're basically gonna see, see it always on during the week. So 24 hours a day during the week, uh, on weekends as well. And then we've got phone, we've got email, we've got social media. So uh, everything going on down here. Uh, finally, if you have anything for me, Brett at lead90.com uh, will go back to me afterwards. Okay, let's see. So we've got other, other questions here. So how do we get featured? So if you're interested in getting featured, uh, I'm going to send you back to Lead Dino. So just sign up for the network. And then what you can do is just reach out to me. So uh, again, any of the emails about this webinar, Brett at leaddino.com, those will go back to me. So I'm having to circle back with you there. Um, also, I had a question on the newsletter templates. Um, so just circle back with me on that. I can send you a couple of templates if you're interested in those. Or uh, another idea, you are also welcome to borrow from, if you want to sign up for Lead Dino's affiliate program, um, you can do that. And then we've got our uh, all these newsletters here. Um, I don't mind at all if you take those and adapt those um, to your company. So you're welcome to do that as well or just to see how we're doing things. So this, let me give you a link here if you'd like to sign up for our Lead Dino affiliate program and you can kind of be on the other side of things and just uh, see how I'm uh, doing things as we send out newsletters and such. Okay. Okay. Someone, uh, okay, another question. I create art prints. I get requests for donations. Pretty often, my price point is twenty dollars for an eight by ten. Thought about paying twenty five dollar, uh, twenty five percent as a normal affiliate payment. So I guess we're looking at um, five bucks uh, per. I was wondering if there are different levels of affiliates. If I want to pay five hundred one c three organizations more, is that a thing? Yeah, absolutely, and that is common. And then we do see affiliate programs with donations common as well. The the secret here is to set up an affiliate type. So you can set up, for example, your five uh, uh, your five hundred one c threes. You can set those up as a different affiliate type. That's going to be under the commission uh, section here. So you can create affiliate types, new affiliate type. Um, you could create this as a you know five, you could literally name it five hundred one c three or whatever you want. Um, save that, and then for your commission plan, you will see that. Um, I've got a 20% commission plan. I'm doing this to all of our affiliates. You would then have an option to add a payment and then you could pay your 501c3s different uh, down there. And the percentage is going to be over here. So you can pay a different percentage uh, to different affiliate types. So that's an option there. Um, as well, if you need a guide on setting that up, let me see if I can get you that. We'll do, uh, let me pull up our docs. Okay. This is our commission plans. I'm late on updating this video, so that's on me uh, coming up soon. So you don't have to yell at anyone else. You can just yell at me for that. But um, I do have, let me see if I can get this. Why is it not pasting in the window? Uh, for some reason, not pasting in the window. So I can send this to you one-on-one -on -one if you need any help with this. Okay, scrolling down here. Can commissions, another commission, plan, can they be split? Um, we don't let them be split. Uh, one commission per affiliate. Um, you do it afterwards. We don't really have an easy way to do it. So if you're thinking about like a first touch or last touch, we don't have, I don't really have a good answer on that. We don't have an easy way to do it. Um, you can adjust whether you want to go first, uh, first, uh, click or last click. Um, but in terms of split, not really an easy way to do that. Uh, how are they paid out? Good question. Let me get to payouts. Uh, PayPal would be the most common way. And I think the easiest, you could cut a check, um, you can direct deposit. I think that's gonna be maybe the most, if you're doing a check or direct deposit, you would hit the manual button here and that would X out your affiliate payment. By the way, we've got a calendar here. So if you wanna pay through, so for example, I'm gonna send out my newsletter on the 26th, but if I wanna pay through the end of January, I would just fast forward my timeline here and then I'll just pay everyone who I owe money to. PayPal is pretty easy. You just hit the PayPal button, tease up a PayPal payment. Let me actually, see if I can do one for you here. I'll just pay out. Uh, Okay, I'll pause here early. 
I'm sure he won't mind. So I'll send Paul some cash. So this is a uh, PayPal, just one at a time. If you're looking to pay everyone at once, we do support PayPal mass pay. So that's a nice way to do it. Uh, PayPal mass pay is going to, um, if you enable mass pay in your PayPal account, that'll let you pay a bunch of affiliates or everyone all at one time. So literally you just do that once and then you'd be, you'd be good to go. Okay, scrolling down here. We sell thousands of products, commissions for affiliates. We'll vary per product. Can we set this up? You can if you are on Shopify or Big Commerce. So that is the requirement there. But if you are on Shopify or Big Commerce, uh, you can absolutely do that. Let me get you. Uh, for some reason, it's not. Let me paste into the window now. I don't know if it's my computer or what. Um, per product commission support is available. Again, I can get you the link if you need. It's on our docs page over on the left side, per product commissions. Uh, let me give you a look at what that looks like. So within um, the payment thing, when you edit your payment, advanced, uh, I'm sorry, it's actually under the, uh, let me cancel that one. Uh, actually under the top, you're gonna go per line item. And here's where you're, you're gonna set this up. So per line item, per SKU, and then you can you can credit certain SKU, certain percentages. Cancel all that, so I'll save that. Uh, but again, if you need help setting up the per product, let us know and we can. Uh, we can help you with that. Commission plan by sector data. Yeah, that should be uh, down there in the chat window. So you should see a link there uh, to commission by um, sector. Work with small business, especially in high quality fabrics. Is there a minimum business side for which the app is recommended? Um, no, I think it's one of the, I think I think it's kind of one of the core things for online marketing. So if you are a new business starting out, you got a few ways that you can get traffic to your site. You could, I mean, you can do SEO for free. The problem is if you're, if you're small and you're new, that's going to take time. So what we did when we launched our uh, Lead Dino, and I've started a few companies, um, the easiest way to get clicks initially, um, pay-per-click works. It can be expensive. So Google is an option. Facebook's an option. If you're looking to get traffic to your site while you build up the organic side. And then in my, I mean, we launched the affiliate program right away. Again, it takes time to ramp up an affiliate program, but that's free and it's more sweat equity and efforts in terms of recruiting your affiliates and influencers. So I think it's one of the first things that you do. I set up my AdWords account. I start buying some clicks and then I start going and approaching potential partners um, in the industry. I think it's one of the first things that you do. Again, that's my opinion. And there are different businesses and different ways to do things, different ways to get customers online. But in my experience, um, partner program is one of the first things that I um, have set up each time. Um, can you pay affiliates for referring new affiliates to join your program? How can that be executed? So we do have multi-level commission plan set up where you could have affiliates for affiliates that they refer, that they would be given uh, credit and earn money from that. Uh, let me go back to our dashboard. So the way that uh, we actually have that baked in the affiliate dashboard. So an affiliate could send an invite out to new affiliates. They join your program. You could have a multi-level commission structure set up where that first level of affiliate for sales, they refer, let's say they get 5%. You could have then the people below them get 2%. You can set this up all the way to 10 levels. So these are a lot of flexibility around this. Um, so you, you, can, you can go as uh, you know higher as you would like almost on the multi-level side of things. So that is definitely possible. And again, um, if you need a hand setting that up, let us know. Uh, question, and this might be the last question, uh, unless uh, anyone has anything else. If commissions are paid out, Weeks later, products are refunded. Okay, does the merchant lose out on the commission or can you deduct future commissions? That's a good question. My advice here is to delay the commission payment until after your refund period. Um, and it's pretty easy to do on the edit payment screen when payment is made. Rather than making it immediately, um, you can make it one month or two months after the purchase, whether you have a 30-day or 60-day refund period. That will take care of everything because then when we get the refund, we just back it out of the commission. But we will still show the commission. At, it'll just show as upcoming. So the affiliates will know that they've gotten credit for it and that when that refund period clears, it's gonna be due. So you can see in the bottom row here, I've got commissions due, I've got upcoming and paid. So paid means it's, it's cash in the bank, they've already received this money via PayPal or otherwise. Upcoming commissions, that's where something would be if, if the sale's been made, but it's still in that refund period. And then after that passes, it flips to due. So that'd be my advice, probably the cleanest way to do it rather than having to deduct from future commissions. You can do this before you even have to pay any money out. Um, and it's kind of works out the best for, uh, for everyone in my, in my opinion, at least from that standpoint. 
Uh, what level of sales uplift would you expect from a program like this? It, it, it depends. There are some businesses that this is all that they do. Um, we have a customer campus protein where they are, uh, they're in our affiliate network here. I mean, they are 95% affiliate sales. So their uplift is honestly, um, this is, this is, this is what they do. This is how, um, They've built their, uh, this is how they've built their business. I think it was a fitness category. Uh, so Campus Pro Dean here, this is all that they do. Great success story. Um, Russell, he's been on a few podcasts. Um, so great guy to learn from in this space. Um, so that's one option. Uh, another business, it, it really depends. It could be a it could be a 10% lift, 20%. Who knows? A lot of it is what in terms of the effort that you put into it. Um, so it could just be one cog in your online marketing machine. It could be almost the whole thing. So it, again, varies by businesses, and then also in terms of what you what you put into it. I would say that you do have to put time into it. I don't think it's a plug and play where you can just, for example, add our app from the Shopify store from the big commerce store, and then just walk away from it and and not pay attention to it. When we see people who are not successful, uh, that's what they do. They will sign up um, and then they never touch it again. Uh, it's more effort than that. I know I, we've got a lot of automation things. We have a lot of uh, resources available for you, but it does take time and attention. And I would say that for any online marketing channel, I would not tell you to, to give Google money and walk away from that. I wouldn't give Facebook money and walk away from that. It's, it's an ongoing thing. Um, so it does take some time and attention just as any other online marketing channel would. Um, all right, let me see if we got anything else. Nope, looks like we are good. So let me leave you with, our contact info, good questions, uh, everyone. So appreciate those. Again, Brett at leadunner.com will go back to me. So I know I've mentioned, you can circle back on various questions. Um, just remind me, so just shoot me an email and I can get you links or any intros to anyone on our, on our team that uh, uh, we need to, I can kind of route you in different directions also. So thanks for joining. Hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday here and a great uh, rest of your week. Uh, keep me posted. Let me know how everything's going on your side in terms of ramping up your affiliate program. Um, if I can work with you, get you featured, we'd love to do that in our network as well. Uh, so thanks again, and uh, do hope to hear from you soon.